Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Google Hangouts Meet events to host your classes online. There's a couple of ways we can do this, and I'll show you both methods right now in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So the simplest way to get started is you just go to meet.google.com. Make sure you're signed into the Google account that you're going to use with your students and select join or start a meeting. We'll call it class with Mr. Byrne. Hit continue and we'll join the meeting. Now in this case, I had a little glitch, so let's try it one more time. So there we go. Now I'm into my class and you can see there I have my webcam turned on. Hello everyone. And when I'm ready to start, I can either click join now or present. Since I'm the teacher, I want to use the present mode and make sure you have your settings set up for your device. So in this case here, I want to make sure I'm using the right microphone and speakers. So in this case, I can have, I might, end up with a little bit of echo so you know we can switch those out and likewise with my video i can go in here turn my camera on and off you turn your captions on and go into your settings for your audio and video right there now i'm ready to present so let's go ahead and hit that present button I'm going to share my screen. I can share my entire screen or I can hit application window, right? And maybe just share this. And you'll see down here, I have this message, you're presenting to everyone. Now, currently, if I jump around, everyone's going to see that. Now, obviously, I don't see it, but they're going to see it. There's my class. If my if I have a student who is joining late and maybe emails me in the background and says, hey, Mr. Byrne, what's the link to join? I can post that, email that to them, right? Now, I also have the option to add attachments if I need to. And when I'm done, I can stop presenting and hang it up. Now, if I've accidentally done that, I can rejoin. But in this case, I'm going to return to my home screen. And now I'm back to my home screen and I can start another meeting if I wanted to. Now that method is fine if you are starting a meeting kind of on the fly and you've already announced to your students that, hey, at uh, 8.45, we're going to start class and you're going to email the link or you're going to post the link perhaps in your google classroom but the other option and probably the better option for most of us who are trying to plan out a week's worth of meetings or a couple weeks worth of meetings is to go into your google calendar and you, know, you can select whatever calendar you want from your calendar account again i've signed into my school account this is my actual school account and maybe i'm going to have a meeting at monday at my regular class time so my regular class time of 1030, we're going to have online class with Mr. Byrne. And I can, as you can see, I can put it on the class calendar that I want, computer science principles or my CompTech one class. Now I'm going to go into my more options menu. And I'm going to make sure that I have add conferencing turned on for Hangouts Meet. Boom. Now I have that new link right there. Go ahead and description for my class. Be prepared to answer some questions about the cybersecurity survey. So there's my link. Now I might want to copy that link. And let's save that event. So now that's added to my calendar. And if I want to, 
I can go into my Google Classroom. There we go. That's the class I wanted to use. And I can post that link up right here. Class on Monday. And I could add in that link to my Google Hangouts Meet. Now, when it comes time to have that meeting, I can do this in a couple of ways. I can go to that link in Classroom and launch the meeting from there. Or I can launch it from here. And in my Meet homepage at meet.google.com, I have nothing scheduled today, but if I go there on the day of the event, well, it'll appear right there as an event that I can start. So those are a couple of ways to create and host Google Hangouts Meet events for your classes if you need to teach them online. As always, for more tips and tricks and tutorials like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.